Hello and welcome to Lessons in Life. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set the desktop background of your Azure AD Intune joint device using a device configuration policy. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see how it's done. As you can see on the screen, I've logged into my endpoint or Intune admin portal by going into endpoint.microsoft.com. I've logged in using Global Administrator account and we go to Devices. Scroll down until you see Policy and under Policy, select Configuration Profiles. Hit Create Profile. Select the platform. In this example, I'm using a Windows 10 virtual machine. Therefore, I'm going to use Windows 10 and later. Hit Profile Type and select templates. Scroll down until you see device restrictions. Click on device restrictions option and hit create button. Give it a user-friendly name. I'm going to say desktop background policy. Okay, that's sorted. You can give a description if you like. Hit next. Under configuration settings, scroll down until you see personalization and this is where you put the URL of the image that you're going to use. Now hover over this um, information icon, it will tell you what that setting basically does. Now bear in mind that this URL has to be hosted in your intranet or it could be on your um, public facing internet, your company website. Uh, in this example, uh, I'm just going to use a random um, picture that's on the public internet. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to actually use this picture that I've already selected. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to copy image address. And then I'm just going to put it into a notepad just to make sure that's in the right format. As you can see, it's uh, in JPEG format or JPG. Uh, format which is one of the accepted formats um, so I believe we should be okay to use that so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it wonderful that's done and I'm gonna go next now in here you will define who you're gonna apply this policy to um, in my case I'm just gonna do it for one particular um, user. Um, let me just go ahead and select um, a user. Can't actually remember what group that I was supposed to use for this testing. My apologies. That's okay. Um, just so that we can proceed with this video, I'm actually going to use all users or all devices. It doesn't really matter uh, for this test scenario, but depending on your um, preferences, you can either test it with a specific set of user groups and make sure that, that it's working. Um, and you can have included groups as well as excluded groups. If you want to um, exclude a certain set of people, you can add them as an exclusion as well. Um, let's say, for example, that you want to apply it for all devices, but not some devices, you can use both included groups and excluded groups as well. But um, let's just go ahead and I'm just going to pick um, add all users in this case. That's fine. Um, and just go ahead and hit next. Okay. Now applicability rules. Um, now in here, we're just going to have to uh, let into no what are the rules that they have to go through to actually apply this device um, policy. So I'm just going to say assign policy if OS edition is Windows 10 Enterprise. Now bear in mind that this is not a must do. Um, you can just skip this part and go straight to review and create as well. But in this case, I just wanted to show you that there is further um, customization that you can do if you wanted to. So my um, 
test virtual machine is a Windows 10 enterprise level one. So I'm just going to set it to that. Okay, hit next. All right, that's all you basically have to do and hit create button. And we'll go ahead and refresh it. Okay, so the policy has been created. It can take a few minutes to apply, but let's see um, how it goes. So this is my virtual machine, which I've just um, opened up. Um, and this is an Azure AD joined uh, device into enrolled. So, and it's running Windows 10 Enterprise Edition. So by definition, um, theoretically, the uh, desktop background should be applied to this machine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Resync this device with Intune and we'll see if it actually helps it. Otherwise, I may need to restart the uh, device or sign out and sign back in. So go to um, your account um, setting and then click on Access Work or School. Click on your account, go to Info and hit Sync button. Now, this should sync with Intune and uh, make sure that all policies and profiles are up to date. Um, let's give it a, a minute or two and see how we go. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. This might take a couple of minutes. I don't want to waste your time. So um, once the sync has been confirmed, I'll um, restart the video. Okay, so as you can see on my virtual machine, the desktop background has changed um, and um, it's looking great. Now it took a little while um, to refresh. Um, I had to sign out and sign back in, um, but it appears to be working as expected. Now, one thing to remember is with this particular setting, um, in my previous example, um, when I showed you how to create the policy, I did apply to all users. Uh, but with that specific um, setting, you could apply to all devices as well. Um, so it doesn't really matter. I believe it's depending on how you want to apply it. Uh, but if it's just a static um, desktop background that you want across your entire organization, um, you could decide either way um, it would it should work um, either way um, now one other thing before I end the video I wanted to show you was because this is a, an enforced policy um, you will not be able to change your desktop background which I am going to test and see if it actually um, lets you change it so let's just go ahead and um, see if I can change it. As expected, I cannot change the desktop uh, background and it has been grayed out, which is what I expected and I'm glad to see that in action. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching the video today. If you liked it, please give it a like. If you uh, are not a subscriber yet on my channel, uh, please consider subscribing. I'll um, catch you guys again on another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.